Here's something for me to tell you about arms right off the bat. I suck at it. <laughs> I really suck at it. Um, it's not because the controls are broken or anything like that. I just am not very good at it at all. Um, I've been playing as Master Mummy. And Master Mummy is the only guy I can get something done with. And his retorture uh, arms make the difference for me. So I found my uh, I found my niche. I found what I can you know do something with and actually hang in the fight. But boy oh boy do I suck at arms. These preview things are always weird for me because it, it's it's hard to decide what to do with them. It's like you know here I'm gonna talk about my time with the game and how it was, but I can only talk about certain things and then. A little while later, I'm going to talk about the game more and tell you what I think of it again. <laughs> and then I'll go into full detail. Um, yeah, so it, it's tough for me to hold back when I'm doing these things. I like to talk about my experience as a whole, but I, I, I can't do that right now. So what I figured I would do is try and uh, approach it in a little bit of a unique way. Instead of just telling you, like, oh, here's the game, here's how it plays, all that stuff. I figured I would tell you about my main experience with the game, which has been in the multiplayer side of things. And getting to see people interact with arms that, uh, A, weren't familiar with the game at all, or B, aren't into motion controls. And I can tell you, it's been a really positive experience so far. Like I said, I've had some friends who know about ARMS and knew what they were getting into when they checked it out, and some others that don't know anything about it and uh, also really aren't into motion controls. I have one friend who... Uh, they they like the motion controls when it comes to stuff like uh, Wii Sports and things like that, but when it comes to a more traditional game, they don't want anything to do with motion controls. For example, when Punch-Out came to the Wii, they would not play it with the motion controls, wouldn't even give it a try. They just had no interest, figured it was going to be bad, and played with the controller. And I happen to love the motion controls in Punch-Out. I thought it really added a, a new layer to the game. But, you know, to each their own, and obviously it can be to each their own with arms as well. So I made a point of letting them know you can approach this game with uh, traditional controls, but from my own hands-on prior to this and from uh, impressions that I've read across the internet I was saying that motion controls seem to be, be the way to go so uh, to my surprise this one person picked it up and went the motion controls route and uh, we played for a very long time in versus mode just one-on-one -on -one going at each other uh, with motion controls and I was surprised with a how much they liked the motion controls and b how easily they took to them. It, it was like they had been playing this game all their lives. And <laughs> like I said, I suck at the game. Um, you know, I, I'm not the worst. I suck at the game, though. And uh, they were kicking my ass left and right. No problems at all. And I was wondering if it, maybe it was just because it was me they were doing well because I was doing so terribly. But it wasn't. Uh, they got into other games and they did really well too they had some closer matches with other people but uh by and large everybody had a really good time with motion controls no problems uh no real complaints other than complaints they had before they even started playing so once they got into the game and actually tried it out they were like oh this works a lot better than i thought it was going to be you know because everybody still has in their mind that uh, Wii waggle from like Wii sports boxing or any other number of Wii games where Developers didn't really take advantage of what the the Wiimote could do, and they just added in waggle for stuff you could press the button for, and arms is obviously a lot different than that. Yes, you can play other modes with other controllers, or you can play with other controllers, and, uh, and do the same things you can do with motion controls for the most part. But, uh, yeah, it's a much more visceral, much more engaging and exciting experience when you go with motion controls and arms, and it just feels better. It feels like, you know... This is the way the game is meant to be played. And seeing people take it that way and go into the motion controls and experience it and the, the fun that I saw firsthand proves to me that this is the next step of motion controls. This really, as long as people are willing to give it a shot, um, you know, be it newcomers to games or people that I'm playing for a long time, if they are willing to give the motion controls a shot, they're going to have a really good time with it. As you know, there's going to be fun to be had with arms in single player mode. Um, and, you know, rising through the ranks and taking on the computer at different difficulty levels and stuff like that. But uh, I think the real fun that is going to be had here is with, uh, well, you know, I, I should say online play, obviously, is going to be a huge portion of that. 
because uh, you'll, for a long time, always have someone you can play against online. But, uh, you know, for me, it could be just me. Uh, I've always enjoyed local multiplayer better. Not a knock against online at all. I just like the shared experience of people in the room playing a game. And, like I said, that's what I've been doing. And I, I think that adds such a great element to the game. And playing in that environment, playing uh, locally with friends, where you're going, you know, one-on-one -on -one up against each other, it made it feel so much more exciting so much more engaging like it, it, it was really intense and it was uh you know cutthroat and it was just it was just fun it was a lot of fun and i i did a video a while ago where i talked about the potential for arms to be an esport and it was a discussion of you know nintendo obviously is trying to position it that way and will host their own tournaments which they're already going to do at e3 and, you know, uh, ARMS isn't exactly a game that many would consider to be an eSport because right off the bat it focuses on motion controls while there are other, are other control options. Nintendo wants to go the motion controls route. So, you know, a lot of people right there would blow it off. But having been in that environment and played it that way so much, I, I, was, I can find it to, be, to offer something really interesting in a world of eSports that we don't really get to see, like a... A whole new level of engagement and excitement that I think will really come across uh, when played online for streams or even on TV. You know, TBS and other networks are airing their esports stuff online and I, or on or regular TV, and I enjoy watching that stuff. I do check it out from time to time. But I think actually seeing people standing up and moving around and throwing punches and stuff like that, I think that could be really cool. But, uh, like I said, just for the home experience, I've really enjoyed that aspect of it. It just it just made it a lot more fun. These matches I had with friends were some of the best local multiplayer experiences I've had in a really long time. Now, I'm playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and other stuff locally with friends. I play a lot locally with friends. Uh, and we definitely have fun there. But this uh, local multiplayer in ARMS is, uh, is a different beast altogether because you we because we were using the motion controls. So you can't help but get into it. You are moving around. You're bobbing and weaving and uh, jumping around and laughing and, and yelling at each other in a good way. <laughs> and just getting really into it. I mean, I played... Uh, I can't even tell you how many matches. But I played uh, definitely for hours and hours with friends... Um, and, you know, every time we were done with a match, I was like, oh, let's do one more. And they were like, yeah, let's do one more. I want to try this character. I want to try this arms combination, stuff like that. Feeling out the characters, learning the intricacies. So, you know, just like any fighting game, which is a compliment because I know a lot of people are worried that the depth isn't there. But without a doubt, depending on how much time you want to put into this game, there's plenty of depth to be found. And that can make or, uh, make the difference in, in the matches that you're going to have. But yeah, when we were playing, like it was super intense in a really fun way. <laughs> like After a while, we were like... Man, we got to take a break because we were like sweating, dripping, <laughs> dripping sweat. Now, obviously, I'm not the most in shape guy, so it doesn't take a lot to get me sweating. But the other people I were, I, uh, were playing with were physically fit without a doubt. <laughs> and they worked up a sweat too. And the only thing that really stopped us from playing was we <laughs> were physically tired. But we were like, let's give it a rest. We'll come back to it a little later once we catch our breath. <laughs> There's a lot more that I want to talk about with ARMS. Uh, I want to go in depth with a whole bunch of different things. But this is a preview, and I can only talk about certain things in a preview. And like I said, I wanted to take it in a different direction. Just give you my experience with the game rather than getting into, like, heavy details about the mechanics and the levels and, you know, the different ARMS available and stuff like that. I just wanted to tell you my experience, and it's been that of joy. It's been fun. Makes me smile. Uh, I think, depending on how Nintendo markets it, this could be uh, another big hit for them. And, uh, you know, it really goes a long way to wipe away some of the bad memories people have of poor motion controls. Because, while Nintendo might not have been the biggest offender, there were certainly those games out there on the Wii that left a bad taste in the mouth of a lot of people that played those games. And it made them uh, turn away from motion controls. So, uh... I'm happy with ARMS so far, i got a lot more to talk about, and I'll bring that to you in the review when I can, and uh, I'm going to shut up now, I'll let the rest of this video play out for you guys, and uh, I'm looking forward to telling you all about ARMS when I'm allowed to.
Hey guys, RMC here from Go Nintendo. If you like what you saw in the video, why don't you give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe? We'd love to have you. If you want to see what else we're up to, you can check out GoNintendo.com for 24-hour Nintendo news. You can visit us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash GoNintendo. You can check us out on Twitter at Twitter.com slash GoNintendoTweet. And we're even over on Instagram at Instagram.com slash GoNintendo. I put all the links in the description just to make it easier for you guys to follow. Thanks a lot!